Hey guys, what's up? So we're back in the kitchen. Finally, after a very long break of not doing any recipe videos, we're back with something that I feel inspired by. So my mom always used to make a sopapilla cheesecake, which is inspired by this Mexican fried dough, which was coated in cinnamon and sugar. And this is basically just like the croissant dough cheesecake version of that. I think she got it off all recipes or something. So it's very basic, nothing very like, you know, extravagant. We're gonna do a little play on it. Today, we are gonna do it with some poached pears. So this is no longer a sopapilla cheesecake. This is my poached pear croissant cheesecake. Mind you, I've never made this before. I've never even made the sopapilla cheesecake. I'm just throwing in a twist right off the bat. And on the side, I'm gonna be making a poached pear sorbet. So this is another thing that's just like, gonna add a little bit of refreshment because the cheesecake is so heavy. Let's just jump into it. So of course I had to buy two different kinds of pears for this. I got Bosch pears, Bosch, Bosch, B-O-S-C. Those pears, are like the firm pears. They look like this. Those ones are gonna be for poaching that end up in the cheesecake because I want the bite, I want a little bit of that graininess to get cooked out, and I don't want them to completely fall apart. These, on the other hand, are barlet pears. These ones are generally the ones that you would eat because they're a lot softer and sweeter, and you don't normally cook these unless you're making a sorbet because you want these to fall apart, you don't want any texture. So these ones are perfect for sorbet. So I'm just steeping any of the cores because I want to use them, I know that there's flavor there. So we're just going to bring it to a boil, let it sit with all the spices because those are going to have to get strained off anyways. So basically we're just infusing everything before we add our pears. So in the meantime, we're gonna get started on the red wine poached pears. The red wine doesn't have to be fancy. I buy a box red wine for all my cooking, so I use this for like jus or sauces. In this case, we're gonna poach the pears. Okay, so the pears are poaching in the red wine liquid. We've got cinnamon, clove, we've got some orange zest, and then we're just gonna let that cook for 20 minutes. We're gonna be constantly rotating the pears just so that they're poaching evenly. It's very important. And I think the sorbet is about ready to blend, but before we get there, uh, my croissant dough, which I purchased, I do not make because I am a terrible croissant dough maker, um, is telling me it's ready. I'm gonna put this in the tray. We gotta do that now, so. You're gonna see it now. So the texture seems like it's gonna be nice. We're gonna add a little bit of agar agar just so that it freezes nicely and makes a nice little sorbet. But what it needs is some lemon. And to cool it down, we've already got this frozen tray. We're just gonna put it on there, nice and flat into the freezer, let it completely freeze, and then we're gonna put it into the Ninja Creamy. And we're finally onto the cheesecake part. We're gonna take our cream cheese and we're gonna whip it with our sugar. So we're pretty much there. We got our poached pears. They're just cooling down so that we can slice them up. And we've got our croissant dough already ready to go. Pretty much have to assemble and bake and then let everything cool down. So this cheesecake, my mom always used to serve it cold. We'd like freeze a bunch and then pull some out at a time. So I'm gonna serve it cold today with the sorbet on the side.
Now it's ready to bake, so let's pop it in the oven. So now that the cheesecake is done, we're just gonna let it rest. We're gonna let it cool down completely, and then tonight, after dinner, we're gonna give it a try. We'll see you then. And we're back. We are ready to try this cheesecake. This is the cheesecake. It's looking pretty snazzy. We still have the lines from the croissant dough, but that's that doesn't matter. So it looks very similar to how my mom used to make, but this time you can kind of see we have the pears inside. So the sorbet is melting pretty fast. It didn't seem like it had quite enough time, so we gotta try this right now. Here we go, it's taste test time. Mm. It's so similar to like what my mom used to make. Mm. And the sorbet is bomb. I could eat a lot of this. And there you have a spin on one of my family classic recipes. So hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, peace.